Hey guys, welcome back to Spray Tell. And today I have another fragrance review for you guys. And this one is a timeless classic. In, you know, it's, you know, maybe some of you millennials might actually remember this one. But, uh, you know, this is this one. So it's Hugo Boss Bottled by Hugo Boss. And, you know, this is a great classic fragrance. It was launched in 1998, so it was around from the late 90s. It's been around and it's still selling today. It's a great fragrance. So the, the notes on this, interestingly, on the actual box, they have the notes. So what they talk about there, what they mention there even, is the top notes. The top note is apple. The mid notes are cinnamon and geranium. And then you've got the base, which is central woods. So I guess that's like kind of woody notes at the bottom. But it's interesting because the weird thing is um, on Fragrantica, there's like a lot of notes. So it's weird how there's like, you know, maybe maybe on Fragrantica people have just put what they kind of think are the notes of the, this fragrance and what they're getting. And maybe there are some notes which Hugo Boss haven't put on their actual packaging. But yeah. What do I get when I spray this? So I have actually already sprayed this and let me just spray it one more time. It's a great atomizer as well. So I, I definitely get, oh yeah, oh yeah. This takes me back, this fragrance. So I definitely get the warmness and the sweetness, the kind of apple note in the opening, which actually I think it lasts the whole, most of the fragrance. It kind of dies down a bit, but it lasts most of the fragrance. And it's really fresh. It's that combination of freshness and spiciness and the woodiness. And yeah, it's very comforting. The vibes I get with this are fireplace vibes and camping vibes. So I think if you imagine like camping in the woods with your friends around a fireplace, that's the kind of vibes that you get with this fragrance. And also an apple pie vibe. So because it's got apple in it, it's got probably a vanilla quality in it with the sweetness and the cinnamon. It really gives you that apple pie vibe also. So I remember this fragrance kind of growing up in the 90s in Saudi Arabia, where I used to live for a little bit. But um, yeah, I really remember it just the smell even and and when i came back to the uk um i actually remember it being around and it was like in boots it was everywhere it was like in shopping centers pharmacies like you just see it and you try it and smell it and i remember like relatives had it maybe my uncle had it i think at some point and it's just a staple like you know people love this fragrance so there's a reason why people love this fragrance guys and my suggestion on when you can wear this is anytime, any place, and anyone can wear this fragrance. One exception is, which I found out the hard way, don't wear this in summer when it's like in the day when you're outside and the sun is beating down on you because it gets quite cloying and it might make you feel sick because that's what's ha happened to me. And it took me a while to actually get back to liking this fragrance again because of that experience, but it is amazing in every other condition. So even in the summer at nights, you can pull this off. It'll make you smell amazing. And it might even project more on those days. So the bottle presentation, I love Like it's just a classic bottle. So I love that. And you can get this for around 50 pounds to 80 pounds. So you can get it cheaper online. And if you find a good deal, you could even probably get it cheaper than 50 pounds. And, and that's for the 100 ml bottle. Um, so ratings, I would give this a 10 out of 10 for smell and for longevity, I would give it 6.5 for projection. I would give it 7.5, but actually thinking about it, I'm going to change the longevity to a bit higher, maybe 7.5 because yesterday I thought it went away, but I think I became nose blind to it. But the thing is I came home and I thought like, you know, I was out for like over six hours. I had it on for over six hours um, outside. When I came back home, I thought it had died down to kind of a skin scent and I couldn't really smell it to be honest that much. But I made my dinner and it was weird because 
while I was making my dinner, I was like, okay, I can sm smell my food, but I can also smell Hugo Boss was coming back. Boss Bottle was coming back. Why is this coming back right now? And, you know, I ate my dinner and then I was like, it's back. And I, I didn't spray it on again, guys. Like, so it's weird. Like, I think this actually lasts longer than what you'd expect. So, and this is the new formulation. This is like the current formulation. So don't kind of mark it down to like not lasting long and don't, you know, I think that's like hype for newer fragrances. Like I think this one still lasts for me. So I would definitely check it out. You know, buy a small bottle, buy a decant, buy a sample, or like get a free sample from somewhere. And um, it's just amazing. Like you love the smell and it does actually last long for me. So in conclusion, Hugo Boss made a classic with this. Like they put themselves on the map in terms of fragrances and um, you know, the fact that this is still around now and we're still getting flankers is a testament to how amazing this fragrance is. And you know, it's a, it's a timeless classic. If you're a fragrance person like me, you need this in your collection. So I would definitely recommend this fragrance. Hugo Boss Boss Bottled, beautiful bottle, beautiful fragrance, beautiful smell and now I smell amazing. So yeah, if you like this review, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.